The sketchbook of Geoffrey Crayon, Gent by Washington Irving, first published in 1819-1820, is a collection of short stories and essays that showcase Irving's skill in blending humor, sentiment, and a deep appreciation for folklore and history. The collection is presented as the work of Geoffrey Crayon, an American traveler in England, allowing Irving to explore a wide range of themes and tones within its pages. The sketchbook opens with the reader introduced to Geoffrey Crayon, the fictional narrator. Crayon describes his restlessness and desire for adventure, leading him to travel to England. The collection consists of a series of sketches, short stories, and essays that reflect Crayon's observations and reflections during his stay in England. One of the most famous stories in the sketchbook is Rip Van Winkle. The tale is set in the Catskill Mountains and follows the character Rip Van Winkle, a man who falls asleep for 20 years. Rip, an amiable but lazy man, escapes the troubles of domestic life by wandering into the mountains. There, he encounters mysterious figures and drinks from their keg, which leads him into a deep sleep. When he wakes, he discovers that two decades have passed, and the world around him has changed. Rip Van Winkle is both a humorous and poignant commentary on the passage of time, the changes in society, and the eternal desire for escape. Rip's experiences resonate with themes of nostalgia and the impact of societal transformations, providing a rich exploration of American identity and culture. Another well-known story in the sketchbook is The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, which introduces the iconic character of Ichabod Crane. The tale is set in the Dutch settlement of Tarry Town, where the lanky and superstitious schoolteacher, Ichabod Crane, competes with the brawny brown bones for the affections of Katrina Van Tassel. The story takes a spooky turn as Ichabod encounters the legendary ghostly figure, the Headless Horseman. The legend of Sleepy Hollow masterfully blends elements of horror and humor, creating a timeless piece of American folklore. Irving's portrayal of the vivid characters and the haunting atmosphere of Sleepy Hollow captures the imagination and has become a staple of American literature. Throughout the sketchbook, Irving also presents essays that reflect on the landscapes, history, and customs of England. One notable essay is The Art of Bookmaking, where Crayon humorously muses on the challenges and idiosyncrasies of being an author. This essay provides insights into Irving's own thoughts on literature and the writing process. The Spectre Bridegroom is another story that adds a touch of the supernatural to the collection. Set in a German castle, the tale revolves around a wedding celebration that takes an eerie turn when the groom, Baron von Landshort, mysteriously disappears. The supernatural elements, combined with Irving's skillful storytelling, create a tale that is both haunting and entertaining. Irving also includes more light-hearted sketches, such as The Angler and The Art of Bookkeeping, which provide humorous observations on the quirks and follies of human behavior. These lighter sketches showcase Irving's wit and ability to capture the nuances of everyday life. One of the charming aspects of the sketchbook is its narrative variety. From the humorous to the melancholic, the collection weaves together a diverse tapestry of tales and reflections. Little Britain, for example, offers a humorous portrayal of the eccentric characters residing in a boarding house in London, while The Broken Heart explores themes of unrequited love and tragedy. As the sketchbook progresses, Geoffrey Crayon's musings become more introspective. The character grapples with a sense of displacement and the challenges of navigating an unfamiliar society. Crayon's reflections on the transatlantic experience contribute to the collection's exploration of cultural identity and the impact of travel on the individual. The sketchbook concludes with an unwritten drama of Lord Byron, an imaginative piece that envisions a fictional encounter between Washington Irving and Lord Byron. This final sketch provides a fitting conclusion to the collection, 
blending elements of fantasy and reality while reflecting on the nature of creativity and the enduring influence of literary figures. In summary, the sketchbook of Jeffrey Crayon, Gent. By Washington Irving is a multifaceted collection that showcases the author's talent for storytelling, humor, and keen observations of human nature. Through the fictional guise of Jeffrey Crayon, Irving presents a diverse array of sketches, short stories, and essays that capture the spirit of his time. The collection's enduring popularity lies in its ability to evoke a range of emotions, from laughter to contemplation, and its exploration of universal themes that continue to resonate with readers today.